thin film crystallizer. Here we have a thin sheet of sodium chloride solution and time-lapsed video showing the growth of sodium chloride crystals over about a period of a day. And the fluid mechanics and the kinetics of crystal growth here is restricted to two dimensions. These crystals result, these crystals have a resulting thickness of about a tenth of a millimeter. Here we see another crystallizer, nucleating crystals. There's one area on the right hand side of the wire that is a hot spot that consistently nucleates crystals time and time again. The sodium chloride solution came from the galley. Instead of a salt shaker on space station, we have a sodium chloride solution so we can squirt the salt water on our food. And it makes nice science experiments. Here the crystals uh, you see are about 15 millimeters on an edge. And you have a combination of hexagonal plates and squares. Here it has evaporated to dryness and you can see the same crystals. You can harvest the crystals by reaching in and pulling them out. And again, they're about a tenth of a millimeter thick. Here we are making a thin film out of protein. Now this film happens to be blueberry flavored and you might suspiciously think it's jello, but nevertheless, it is still protein. And it is interesting in terms of what you can do with films like this, which will harden with time. And here the film is being made. Most of the bubbles are being excluded by the drawing process. After this film hardened, we used it to suspend some droplets of sodium chloride solution just as a demonstration for what you might be able to do with a protein film if you had the right chemical constituents you could use it to suspend little chemical reactors where you could have diffusion reactions going on between the film and these reactors and here we're just showing a time lapse of sodium chloride crystals growing while they're suspended by this protein film. This film has sufficient integrity that you can snip it out of the frame with a pair of scissors and then you can put it in a baggie and you can bring it back home if you like. And again, this is representing what you could possibly do with films made of proteins or other materials in a weightless environment. Here is a, a two-dimensional sheet made of sugar solution and it became saturated with time and started to grow these needle-like uh, sugar crystals and over a period of about a week and a half the crystals grew and filled in the whole frame.